it's Monday today and we're here to learn the choreography for children, children everywhere. On Mondays, and sometimes other days of the week as well, the cast had the privilege of working with the infinitely talented Miss Petrina. Miss Petrina choreographed all the dances in the show. Now, I want everybody to lean uh, forward towards them, okay? So you can lean your, lean your leg. I've been dancing all my life, and I think that it's the most fantastically fun and enlightening thing you can do, and it's also incredibly good for your health, your, um, your body, and it's just good fun. The dancing, it's very vigorous and very fast and everything like that, so it's very complicated. Um, a lot of challenges are like uh, dancing together. The dancing's really like, like, yeah. In particular, I think today's going to be the hardest simply because we have got to dance and we have got to um, show that it's a promiscuous choreography without, because of the age group of the, that I'm teaching in high school, it obviously cannot be promiscuous in any way. We've just got to show the elements of that sort of thing. Down stage first. If you're on Alice's side, you go up to that shoulder. Yeah, to my shoulder. There you go, that way. Okay, and then round, and then the other way. Nice. Okay. Okay. Sometimes children are something like, that's not really like dancing. It's more like a mating, like a ritual or something, which is kind of crazy because I have to keep Sydney up in the air with my legs, and it's like, mm -hmm. don't want to drop her. A lot of fearful of hurting other people in the show. The dancing hasn't been too difficult. Um, of course, it, it gets very tiring, but Miss Petrina has worked stuff out that it, it's going really well. Um, some things are a little difficult to do, but other than that, I enjoy it. Well, I don't really get to do a lot of the dances, so it's kind of disappointing, but I mean, like, the ones that I'm in, it's a lot of fun actually getting to get back into the dancing musical theater style. So I definitely enjoyed that a lot. And seeing Miss Petrina again. Miss Petrina is an amazing dancer. I mean, she will put, she's older than all of us, and she'll put us, all our young kids, to shame. Um, she's done choreography for the last two shows I've been in, and sh she's just an amazing person. She is a very organized and very nice dance teacher, but at the same time, it's hard to follow her because she's very quick at teaching, and she'll say, okay, do this in one, two, three, go, and I'll sit there thinking, mm, I'm not fast as you, but I like her, and when you need help, she'll help you, and she'll explain it. Miss Petrina. I've always loved her. I've known her since my freshman year and she's just, if you mess up and she's like, that was dodgy. I, I love it. While dancing and music are obviously important things in a musical, first and foremost, a musical is a story, and a story revolves around acting, which is why the majority of the rehearsals were focused on just that. Now what I want you to do, when you first come in, the lights, the lights, the lights come up, you're going to be making your entrance. And I want you looking around behind the trees. It's been tiring. Come to a there have been a lot of rehearsals, and I've had to cut off work and stuff to take care of it. But it'll all be worth it in the end. But like the last couple of rehearsals, staying late at night, being here early, doing makeup and everything, it gets very tiring. I love Mr. Cook. He is a lot of fun. He is very intimidating and very scary at times when you don't do what he asks, but I love him wholeheartedly, and he's amazing at what he does, and he's very talented. He, know, he knows what he's talking about, and he helps you with your character so well. Like, I was doing things that I thought I was right, but it was wrong for my character, and he helped me figure out what was going on, so I like him for that. He's, he's cool. He definitely understands the show, which is good, because I was a little worried that he wouldn't get it, and he'd try and make it a little more... Bible Belt area, like where we are, but no, he definitely got the show and made me very happy with some of the directions that he took since it's my favorite. Spend your life on my heart. I see no better way to start. no time. Let me See, this is what happens when I stop and read. Boy is a complex show with many characters. It is only fitting that each face a different set of challenges. I think the most challenging thing for me is staying in character because I will find myself often falling out of character when I'm not doing anything on stage or when I 
um, forget my lines in a really hard place. Like, act two, scene one is really hard because it's really fast, but that's probably the hardest thing for me to do. I have to really act black. I have to show the gospel spirit and get all the townspeople and everyone get their spirits up because they're just so depressed about everything that's going on and they're freaked out about bad boy and all this stuff. So I just got to really show that they can just relax and have fun. Try and cry during the second act when I run over to Edgar um, right before Children Children. I cannot get myself to cry for that. I can cry at the end, but not right there. There's a lot of stage combat with me, like biting people or jumping at people, and so it's, it's a big thing about like not hurting the person, not like, because you're, you're in the moment so much that sometimes you lose track of the other person's safety or like thinking about the other person's safety, so you're like, yeah, I'm gonna really bite them. And then you're like, oh crap, this is actually a show. You don't want to really hurt the person, so you have to like be careful of how they fall and whatnot. It's really, there's a lot to it. With the school time change, how we're gonna get, make all this happen, rehearse and, and do all that stuff and still have kids getting home, doing homework, uh, eating, not running out of energy, not, you know, getting sick. This has certainly, I think, been the sickest cast I've ever had, and I think part of it's because of the time change. When I got sick, I got mono tonsillitis and scarlet fever all at the same time. It started off with the tonsillitis, and then the scarlet fever came in, and then my immune system was so weak that it triggered into the mono. So I was out for a week, which was fine and everything, and I was back to normal. But then my doctor, after getting blood work, said, oh, you got mono, your spleen is ready to rupture any second with any weird movement, and your kidneys could start failing at some time or some I don't know. So she made me go on two weeks of bed rest, and that two weeks fell on the show date. And I definitely offered to martyr myself and die on stage, but he wouldn't let me. I was very disappointed in the rehearsal process because I think taking a break because people were sick is not the best option that we could have because now that we're getting back into it we're a little rocky and it's rusty around the edges. So those have all been obstacles. They've been real troopers. They bounce back, they show up, they're here. But you know, it's it's a little crazy, I think, with all of that. So and it's an early show. We're doing it really early in the school year and that's never an easy task. Despite the challenges, the cast still found plenty of things to enjoy. I like a lot of parts of the show, but I think Apology to the Cow, or Apology to a Cow is really fun. It's good to kind of lose yourself in the song, you know, I really like, like moments like that. Like, especially like in the first part of the show where I'm like, and it's really cool to like get so into the show that you don't really think you're in a show. You're just like in the moment. I like that a lot. The most enjoyable thing I have to do is scream. I love to scream and it's amazing. <laughs> So basically I get to kill my own child and I get to scream a lot in this one scene and it's probably the most fun I have the whole time. Like I can't wait for that scene to come. Well, obviously like crawling around stage like a monkey man, which is really fun. Um, which is hard by the way. I'm gonna have like thunder thighs by the end of the show because I'm on all fours like no other. and then she has this weird like panty noise that she do that she does but I couldn't do it so I kind of just listen for other people and Emily I have to copyright Emily right here started doing the freaking 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 so I was like copyright and it's stolen so it's kind of how I learned was from her I think I, was rumor. I believe there's going to be people people that are a little surprised and a little shocked because it's not a typical freedom show it's not risque it's not taboo it's not controversial, but it is, I guess for lack of a better term, PG-13. There's blood, there's violence, there's some innuendo and allusions to things that have gone on. So I think that's going to surprise some people, but I believe when the show, you know, as long as they don't leave before the show's over, you lost the piece, as long as they don't show up before the, or leave before the show is over, I'm pretty sure at the end they're going to go. That was a good show. I get it. I get it. Don't take it too serious. I think the fun parts kind of like outweigh the hard parts because it's, it's really is more fun than it's hard because it's such a goofy like crazy show that like you can't really not have fun with it unless you're like deliberately trying to not have fun but then you're crazy so. 